Hello. This uh, video is going to demonstrate a proof of concept for transmitting data between two separate applications. So we can see on the screen we've navigated to a website. It's an MVC website and it's running on port 65043. Uh, when we click on the go to point B, it's going to navigate to a separate website on a different port number, but it's going to pass business line and identifier across using a messaging service. I'll just demonstrate that now. So, clicking on point B, we'll take it to, to six five, uh, localhost on port 65119. So, notice it's sent across a cache key ID. That's a, a GUID. That's a randomly generated GUID generated on the transmission side and that's placed into the memory cache. When we land on this page we take the cache key that's passed across in the URL, we pull the data out and that's what we're seeing here. So all this data has been pulled out of the cache and it's presented. When we pull the data out of the cache we clear the session down. So that means that if we reload this page that data is no longer in the memory cache and we don't get this section. The section disappears. Let's just do that again. So we're on point A, so we're going from point A to point B. And that's a proof of concept of the uh, service, uh, messaging service uh, idea that we talked about at the meeting today the 18th of Feb. Uh, this is the implementation of it. So what's in the solution? We have a contracts folder. So a contracts is just a class which describes the, the data that we're going to send across between the two different systems. Business line identifier. In point A, this is our um, source location. We've created a service called messaging. And messaging has got two methods. You can store a contract and you can retrieve a contract. It also has a reference to the service so you can call the service and, and consume it internally. Let's have a look at the controller. So here's the real um, code which is going ahead. First of all we generate the key then we create an object. This would be uh, filled in from various uh, session values from the existing trader or uh, power place session object. We fill that in and get that complete. Uh, we've got a reference to our messaging client and then we call it store contract. It will store using this key and this object that contract value and then it will just redirect to the um, remote site on that port number passing the key. So let's have a look at point B, destination site. So in the controller we can see that when we uh, arrive in the controller we've got this optional cache key value. Normally that will be empty or blank but if we've passed a cache key across that will contain a value. As a result we're checking for nulls here. If we do have a value we create a session of uh, create an instance of the message SOAP client again. Again we have a service reference back to the uh, messaging service. Um, we retrieve the object from the cache key using the cache key that was presented on the URL. Uh, if we have some data uh, that's now stored and we've added that we add that into the session. If it isn't there because we've been sent a incorrect value then we can remove any trader sessions that previously exist because we may well have refreshed the page. This will remove the session if it already exists. This will of course add it back in but at this stage it will be null and here's the bit in the view where we actually bind that to the screen. Here we can just check the trader session whether it's got a value or not and uh, present that information to the user. So there you go, that's a, a, a transmission and a re reception um, implementation, proof of concept, uh, 
to pass data across applications and, and across sessions as well. Okay, uh, I'm not in tomorrow morning, uh, but I'll be in, in the afternoon. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.